With Termux, your Android device becomes a mobile reconnaissance powerhouse, running powerful cybersecurity tools wherever you are. These tools help with footprinting, intelligence gathering, and preparing for security testing. Let's see how your Android phone can become a serious security tool with Termux. Exosint is a powerful OSINT tool for Termux, letting you gather public information from multiple sources on your mobile device. Search for phone numbers, emails, VINs, and subdomains using its modular interface. Enter a phone number or email to find linked accounts, data breaches, and public records. Modules include phone and email recon, VIN lookups, and subdomain enumeration. Organize and automate your checks with Exosint. Find linked social media profiles, usernames, and emails. Track how usernames, subdomains, and emails are connected. Generate footprint graphs to visualize connections and reveal the attack surface. Mr. Holmes is a Termux tool for quickly gathering online information about a target. Enter a domain, username, or phone number to start collecting data. The tool automates Google dorking to find public information. It searches for social media accounts, employee names, public documents, and related websites. Check a username across many platforms to find linked accounts. For penetration testing, enter a domain to gather related data automatically. Mr. Paul, Holmes finds social media profiles, exposed documents, and other websites tied to the target. It checks for the same username across many sites. This can reveal personal interests or weak points in security. Mr. Holmes also finds misconfigurations using Google dorking. It uncovers exposed login pages, directories, and error messages. The tool runs multiple Google dork queries automatically. WebSift is a web scraper that extracts emails, phone numbers, social media links, and URLs from websites. Run it on a domain you own or have permission to scan. It automatically finds and lists contact details and hidden links. WebSift can also detect hidden API endpoints. Use it to check if your site exposes sensitive data. Protect your data by using contact forms or obfuscating emails in your HTML. Next up is Killshot. Killshot is a lightweight, mobile-first pen testing framework for Termux. It includes modules for information gathering, vulnerability scanning, and basic exploitation. You can automate a series of attacks or tests directly from your phone. The interface is menu-driven, making it easy to perform common pen testing tasks. Start with information gathering to get details about a web server. Then use the vulnerability scanner to check for issues like SQL injection or cross-site scripting. If a vulnerability is found, you can run a simple exploit module to demonstrate the impact. For example, if a weak login page is detected, you can pivot to a brute force module to test for default credentials. Killshot helps you document each step, recon, scan, exploit, and results. This makes it practical for quick, structured testing on mobile. Let's look at Flux ER, a bash script that installs and runs the Fluxion Wi-Fi auditing tool in Termux. Fluxion is used to audit Wi-Fi security by simulating man-in-the-middle and evil twin attacks to capture WPA WPA2 passwords. The tool creates a fake access point that mimics a real one, tricking users into entering their Wi-Fi password on a fake portal. When the password is entered, Fluxion captures it in plain text. Only use this on networks you own with a dedicated test access point. Use Fluxiar to install and launch Fluxion in Termux. Scan for your test network, de-authenticate a test device, and create the evil twin access point. The test device reconnects, sees the fake portal, and you capture the password. This demonstrates the risks of WAWPA2 networks and the importance of stronger security. Seeing this in action is a powerful reminder to upgrade your Wi-Fi security. Number six is iHackLab, a pre-packaged hacking lab environment for Termux. It sets up a functional offensive security environment on your phone with a curated set of tools and automation scripts. Think of it as a lab in a box for your mobile device. The installer downloads and organizes common hacking tools, ensuring they run correctly in Termux. Perfect for practicing on the go. It creates a sandboxed environment for skill development. Install iHackLab in an isolated Termux session to get tools for recon, scanning, and more. Ideal for capture the flag competitions or brushing up on your toolchain. You get a ready-made toolkit to start solving challenges immediately. Use different tools for recon, scanning, finding vulnerabilities, and testing, all from your phone. iHackLab is a practical training ground. It provides a stable, accessible platform for learning the fundamentals. 
With pre-configured tools, you can focus on running scans, analyzing results, and deciding your next steps. It's a practice field for aspiring ethical hackers. ToolX is a popular master installer in the Termux community. It lets you install over 300 hacking and security tools through a simple, menu-driven interface. Tools are organized by category, including reconnaissance, vulnerability scanners, password crackers, and payload generators. If a tool runs on Linux, ToolX likely has a script to install it in Termux. The main advantage is speed and easy access to a wide range of utilities. Instead of manually cloning repositories and handling dependencies, you just select the tool and let ToolX install it. This is especially useful for security researchers and CTF players who need quick access to niche tools. Always install only the tools you need for your specific task. Avoid installing everything. Focus on building a custom toolkit relevant to your authorized scope. Installing unknown tools can be a security risk. Use ToolX as a curated installer not to fill your device with unnecessary scripts. Build your toolkit for a specific purpose, such as reconnaissance or information gathering. For example, select only reconnaissance tools if your engagement requires OSINT. Skip categories outside your scope, like exploitation or post-exploitation. ToolX is also great for quickly setting up for CTF challenges. If you need a rare tool, check ToolX first and install it in seconds. ToolX makes experimenting with different tools fast and efficient. Just use it with clear intent. Number eight is IP Tracer, a tool for IP geolocation and information tracking. Enter an IP address and it queries public databases and APIs to return details like ISP, organization, and sometimes geographic coordinates. This helps security analysts add context to suspicious IPs found in firewall logs. For example, you can check if an IP is from a known cloud provider or an unfamiliar region. This information helps prioritize threats and decide if an IP should be blocked. After a phishing simulation, you can map employee exposure by running their IPs through IP Tracer. See if employees are accessing resources from home or public Wi-Fi. This helps you understand the real-world attack surface. In your own lab, try tracing your public IP, then connect through a VPN and trace again. You'll see how proxies and VPNs affect geolocation results and learn the basics of online anonymity. Number 9 is Easy Hack. Easy Hack is a collection of scripts, not a single program, offering menu-driven access to automated attacks and simulations. It bundles modules for brute force attacks, phishing simulations, and other red team tasks into one easy interface. The focus is automation and speed for authorized testing. For example, you can use a brute force module to check your own test accounts for weak passwords. Just point it at your service and use a common password list. It automates checking for weak credentials. There are also modules for quickly deploying phishing pages for services like Instagram or Google. These scripts make it easy to demonstrate phishing risks. Use these tools for security awareness and testing only on accounts and systems you own or have permission to test. Always get explicit permission before running any module. Use the results to improve password strength and enable multi-factor authentication. Always check URLs and be cautious with login requests. EasyHack is practical for quick, automated security testing and awareness. At number 10, TH3 Inspector stands out as an advanced all-in-one reconnaissance tool for gathering information about hosts or domains. It collects WHOIS records, server technology details, DNS information, and more from a single domain input. T3 Inspector integrates multiple APIs and techniques for deep, automated scanning. It's fast and designed for comprehensive reconnaissance before any further action. Features include subdomain discovery, email scraping, and social media checks. It automates queries to dozens of sources for a complete intelligence profile. The tool excels at deep subdomain enumeration and finding hidden email addresses. It leverages external services to enrich reconnaissance results. API integration provides richer data than basic scraping or DNS lookups. This enables discovery of assets not visible through standard methods. Use T83 Inspector to build a list of subdomains, emails, and related assets. This is essential for creating a complete asset inventory. T3 Inspector is ideal for systematic asset discovery and mapping. Identify all devices and domains before securing a network. Launch T83 Inspector, input your target domain, and let it scan. Always use it with proper authorization. 
review the output for subdomains, emails, and online assets. Use the results to update your asset inventory. This helps uncover forgotten or unmaintained network segments. Start broad, scan beyond just the main website. Expand your scope to all related domains and assets. Map the entire external landscape for thorough reconnaissance. Effective recon is the foundation of any security assessment. Here are 10 powerful Termux tools that can turn your smartphone into an ethical reconnaissance device. Remember, use these tools only in a secure, isolated lab environment and only with explicit written permission from the asset owner. Unauthorized use is illegal and has serious consequences. If you found this useful, hit like, subscribe for more content, and comment, stay ethical below.